need to connect to the wire. Okay. I don't know where. Let me turn it on, hold on. So I just was networking about, uh, about your software release and all the events and people that are uh, okay. letting me know about the jobs coming up okay. so that I can start getting work. Hold this for a second, please. Oh, you're, you're uh, live. Yeah. Right, now it's We're live on the live stream. Mm -hmm. Live on the live stream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, that's where he's coming back. Okay. Uh, do you want to talk to anybody? Not yet. I know. I know everybody here. We're all we're all good. Well, I want to introduce you to someone. Well, just a second. Why don't you get your phone set up okay. so we can see what's going on? Because some people are complaining that it's not working. But I'm holding the number of viewers, so it must be working. I don't know. We'll see what happens. For some people, though, it says that it's not working. So let's try it and see what happens. Let me know how it's working for you folks out here. Excuse me. Looking at good old Starbucks coffee. Nice thing about Starbucks is no matter what you say about them, they always got an open restroom that's reasonably clean. They used to have uh, plugs for everybody, except that got kind of overboard. Yeah, because everybody started taking advantage of it as usual, right? Anyway, for those of you just watching, we're in Union Square here in New York. I'm having trouble getting my tweets out, so for those of you who are watching, if you could please retweet for me, I would very much appreciate it. Or just log in to the social stream using your Facebook stream account and uh, let me know what's up. Anyway, I just shut it down and then turned it back on again. And we're going to check it out here as soon as we a moment. Thanks for everybody for putting up with the technical difficulties. Well, it should be a new stream app somewhere. Oh, yeah. That's the, uh, should be clear spot 990. This one? Yeah. It should be your number one. It's kind of funny. It's and then the password, yeah, it's right there. Uh, 990, 314, 990 dB. 990 zero. DB, yeah, 990 dB. So 990. No, it's 990. Oh, 990, yeah, 990. Uh, well, I don't know what's going on in your guys' end. Uh -huh. um, we're going to check it out. Okay, did you get logged on? Yeah. All right, put that away. So now you want the Ustream app? Yeah, yeah. Boot up the Ustream app and then do a search for Freeman Sullivan. And then, uh, yeah, it's on your thing. If not, just go to Applications. Oh, just put it away. Can you stream that one? Yeah, just hit that one once. And then there'll be like a little search device on there. Yeah. Right. Search for which one? Freeman Sullivan. I'm gonna check it here for you folks. They're watching. It's a shame if they couldn't watch the live stream. I'm like, if I have to do that, I'll switch over to uh, Bam User. Okay, live now? Yeah. Is that free man something? Let's, let's see if it comes out. All right, folks, we're checking it on the phone. And as you can see, it's working. All right, so we're good to go. You can, you can stop that now. I'll just leave the modem on, so if you decide you want a live stream or whatever. So, don't I have a broadcaster here? Yeah, yeah, but um, we're going to try and keep it all on the same channel. So how do I broadcast that? Um, yes, uh, hit when you when we're ready, you go back to the Ustream app and then you hit the camera, but don't hit it now. That camera? Yeah, yeah. And then that'll just... 
yeah. All right, we're going to walk over here to the protest since we know that we got a signal that's going out. Join all these merry brand of occupiers and, and who's it's and what's it's and buzz it's. Hey, buzz it's. So it should be working for you guys. We just checked it. And we have, uh, we're doing it from a hot spot and, uh, and all the latest in, uh, the latest in technology, right? Yeah, guys, I uh, should be working. We just checked it out. Okay. And that's Sam. He's going to be one of our live streamers today here in a little bit. Temperature's not too bad out here. A little brisk, but not not overly cold. Not like it was on Saturday, at least. Although the it will be getting colder here in the next couple of days. This is New York. We're just getting started here, folks. All I know is that Stoner Bowl! Stoner Bowl! <laughs> Yeah, we should have audio and visual. We checked it out on the cell phone. Hello. Hi. This um, February 26th, it's a day of outrage and remembrance. Um, Trayvon's second year anniversary of Trayvon Martin's murder. So may I give one of these yeah, to sure. you? Yeah, sure. Okay. There you go. Thank Let you. everybody know it's watching. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, you want to tell tell people a little more about what's going on? And spread and spread the word. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're in line right now. Uh, you want to tell our viewers anything it's about what the protest? About Trayvon? Yes, ma'am. Well, uh, the verdict in you know letting George Zimmerman walk free. The whole trial to me was was sham and you know there was no justice served and it was putting a target on the backs of you know black and latino youth that you know they could be shot indiscriminately by a police officer or by a, you know racist vigilante wannabe cop and no consequences it's just it's just okay it's you know the new jim crow all over and then worse so we have many many of these in new york city and what, what time what day is the demo it's a Wednesday. What Wednesday? Five o'clock here in Union Square Park. What yes, day? on the 26th of February. There will also be another event, Hell Day of Outrage and Remembrance for Trayvon Martin up in Harlem. But um, we're just in the process of formula, you know, formulating the exacts of that. So that's to, to, to be announced. Okay, and your and name this is? is spearheaded by uh, Sarah Chenzi uh, with Stop Mass Incarceration Network. Okay, thank you. Thank you. There you got it, folks. February 28th here in Union Square at 5 p.m. There will be a Justice for Kevon Martin demo. Just a second. Just let me wire away. Put on a pair of gloves because I'm getting cold. Hello, just a moment, folks. Yeah, we're about ready to have some entertainment here. Not a bad day in New York. The shirt had the shirt had that. Yeah, Jenna's boyfriend took the gloves on. Be 
City here in New York. I'm a California boy. Southern California. Can't wait to go there. I have so many cool California. There we go, folks. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. It's a, use, it's a problem on Ustreams, and that's evidently because we are getting a signal out, folks. Anyway, we got all the folks from Occupy Wall Street. They're down here, and we're getting ready to have some entertainment, so stick around. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the videos, but we are sending something out. We did check it on the cell. Are you guys using a browser? Clark, Tony. Nice to meet you, Tony. It's like it's uh, on Saturday. What's that? You were, you were uh, at uh, Zuccotti on Saturday. Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, but you were Friday night. You were over at, uh, with these guys, right? Yeah. I remember you were. I was sitting next to you. Right. Yeah. How long have they been in that space? At uh, West 24th. Oh. A while? A while, yeah. I didn't know, I've never been there. I've only been there like the last couple of weeks. I didn't even know about it. I know some women's always talking about yeah. that space, but I didn't know that they were there. That's a great space. It's a great location. The Breck Four used to be right around there on 27th. Right. Then they moved to the Bank. Now they're over by him. And then they're over on Atlantic Avenue. That's what I was just telling you. That's what I was just talking about. The Breck Four is right over here. So we're getting ready. We're going to be here all afternoon for the people that are watching uh, till 3 p.m. here in Union Square in New York City. Yeah, I okay, rebooted it for you, people. So uh, it should be working. We just checked it out on the cell. We're getting ready to have some singers. for you. Support low-wage workers. Fight for $15 an hour in the union. Uh, justice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. That's Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, we're assembling here at Union Square Park at 14th Street and Broadway. So join us here in the area. Support low-wage airport workers. Demand that they have the right. They're not getting Martin Luther King holiday. You can see that or not. 
At any rate, Stars of New Year is supporting a supporting fight for social economic justice. So that's why we're out here for the fight for 15 and honoring Martin Luther King, one of the most dynamic leaders in American history. Uh, come down if you're in the area. We're at 14th and Broadway. That's the uh, 14th Street stop on the subway on the uh, 6th. So come down and join us. Got a merry little crew. I guess we got about 25, 50 people here. But we could use you. So if you're in New York, no excuses. Come by. Join us. We need you out in the streets. Or making calls. Call up the White House to tell them you don't support the Trans-Pacific Partnership. That number is 202-456-1111. Call that number up and tell Obama that you do not support the Trans-Pacific Partnership.
Problems on the Ustream end, not on my end. Join us. What are you doing over there when you can be here with us? Join us. For those of you who are just joining us, we're down here in Union Square in New York City, 14th and Broadway at the 14th Street stop. If you're in town here, come by and join us, like the man said. We're here with Raging Grannies who are singing for us. I guess they stopped. We're going to do another song. Maybe they're just taking a minute, minute break. I saw the wheelchair that I used to push first my father in and then my mother in. As I looked at that wheelchair that was broken up, I said, God must go! You goddamn mafioso motherfucker! That's why I'm here. <laughs> Yeah, it's not on my end. We just checked it uh, for the signal. Uh, we checked it on a cell phone, and it was working, folks. Oh, 
behind me in the fight to bring justice. are keeping busy and like we are doing work amongst ourselves but we should also try to outreach to like everybody and their mother. That was happening a lot back then we became very insular and stopped doing that. Go loud. <laughs> huh? Oh yeah. For those of you who are watching, if you uh, are you know, using Firefox, I recommend AdBlock Plus. And that will block out all the commercials the that on you're watching on your browser. And that's for Firefox or Chrome. That's AdBlock Plus. And that'll eliminate all the commercials out of your live stream. So you can watch and not be interrupted. <laughs> AdBlock Plus. Highly recommend it. Blocks out all the ads. The little, the little banner ads on the right hand side, the little video ads, all that stuff gets blocked out. Check it out. So we're gonna have some more music here in a little bit, and I'm under the understanding that there's a there's a brass band that's gonna be showing up. And that starts at 2 p.m. Department of Birmingham, Alabama in April of 1963 didn't think it was safe to give Martin Luther King writing paper and they were right about that. These are the words from a letter from a Birmingham jail. <laughs> My dear fellow clergymen, while confined here in the Birmingham City Jail, I came across your recent statement calling my present activities unwise and untimely. Seldom do I pause to answer criticism of my work and ideas. If I sought 
Nobody to answer nobody there when we left. all yeah. the criticisms that cross my desk. My secretaries would have little time for anything other than such correspondence in the course of the day. And I would have no time for constructive work. But since I feel that you are men of genuine no, it's not the goodwill I checked it. and that your criticisms are sincerely set forth, I want to try to answer your statement in what I hope will be patient and reasonable terms. Now remember, ladies and gentlemen, this man wrote these words on the margins of a newspaper smuggled into his jail cell so he could express his outrage to the racist injustice of Bull Connor and the police department of Birmingham, Alabama back then 51 years ago. And this man had the respect and the dignity to answer with words that I read to you now. I will skip ahead. But more basically, I am in Birmingham because injustice is here. Just as the prophets of the 8th century BC left their villages and carried their thus saith the Lord far beyond the boundaries of their hometowns. And just as the Apostle Paul left his village of Tarsus and carried the gospel of Jesus Christ to the far corners of the Greco-Roman world, so am I compelled to carry the gospel of freedom far beyond my hometown. Like Paul, I must constantly respond to the Macedonian call for aid. Moreover, I am cognizant of the interrelatedness of all communities and states. I cannot sit idly by in Atlanta and not be concerned about what happens here. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. We are caught in an inescapable network of mutuality tied in a single garment of destiny. Whatever affects one directly affects us all indirectly. Never again can we afford to live with the narrow, provincial, outsider agitator idea. Anyone who lives in the United States can never be considered an outsider anywhere within its bounds. These are the words written by Martin Luther King in a narrow jail cell where they yeah. were not even kind enough yeah, so we're gonna to do, give so we're gonna do paper like a little vamp. on which we're gonna to write these notes. great words on. We are here in Union Square today because in New York there's injustice on 14th Street in Harlem, in the Bronx, in Staten Island, everywhere we look. The fight for justice continues. Please, pass us by. Lend us your time and your ears and join us 
in this fight against Wall Street and Washington and the people who feel they can shut down our government anytime it serves them. Our fight for justice continues. And we read the words today of a great man who gave his life as much as any Marine or soldier on a battlefield far away from these shores. I want people to join me as we read from one of the most powerful paragraphs in the English language. This is from a letter from a Birmingham jail. Folks, join us, please. We have a program that's going to follow right now. Thank you. Today. Do a series of actions today at McDonald's. At McDonald's. 
Staples. At Staples. At Staples. At Wendy's. At Wendy's. At Burlington Coke Factory. At Burlington Coke Factory. And if you guys are up to it, and if you guys are up to it, we'll go to the Wendy's. We'll go to the Wendy's. At Fulton. At Fulton. To support the worker. To support the worker. That was fired. That was fired. Because. Because. Her shirt. Her shirt. Her shirt was unironed. She worked there. She worked there for seven years. For seven years, and was only making and was only making nine dollars an hour. Nine dollars an hour. So we're gonna decide. So we're gonna decide at the end of the day. At the end of the day, whether we want to march there. Whether we want to march there. Occupy the subway. Or occupy the subway. I wanted to ask. I wanted to ask if there's any organizations. If there's any organizations or movements here or movements here. That would like to speak. That would, would like, like to speak. We have an open program. We have an open program. For organizations and movements. For organizations and movements. To speak. To speak. And help us organize this thing. And help us organize this thing. So if there's any organizations or if leaders. Any organizations, or organizations, leaders, or leaders, organizations or leaders. And feel free to speak right now. Feel free to speak right now. Oh, I'm Samumba, by the way. I'm Samumba, by the way. Yeah, I just want to give a note that he has. Uh, my check. My check. I just wanted to give a note. I just wanted to give a note that they actually raised the minimum wage. They actually raised the minimum wage by seventy-five cents. Seventy-five cents is not eight dollars. It's not eight dollars. Now we can go kill him for murder. Yeah. 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 Now we're at one percent. Yeah. We're middle class now. Okay. So uh. I have a master's degree. I've never been going at 865 an hour at a full time job. I can't afford a shower on $8 an hour. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any other organizations or movements would like to speak right now? People Powered Assembly, anyone? Take it. Mic check! Mic check! Mic check! Mic check! Mic check. We are here today. We are here today to support all workers. To support all workers. And to send out a message. And to send out a message. That minimum wage. That minimum wage. Is not enough. It's not enough. It does not pay rent. It does not pay rent. It does not buy groceries. It does not buy groceries. It does not pay for health care. It does not pay for health care. It does not make for a comfortable way to live. It does not pay for we are also here. We are also here to remember Dr. King. We are also Dr. King because the night before he died. Because the night before he died, he stood with garbage workers in Memphis. He stood with garbage workers in Memphis. So I am here. So I am here to honor workers. Dr. King. Dr. King. Anybody else? Anybody else? Who agrees with me? Who agrees with me? That minimum wage. That minimum wage. Is not enough. Is not enough. Woo! Any other organizations represented? Act up. Are you here? Act up is here. Act up. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Although. Although. I am not authorized, I am not authorized to, make a statement to make a statement on behalf, on behalf of, ACT UP. of ACT UP. I am here, I am here as an individual, as an individual, Joe Selman, Joe Selman, in, in support of, in support of, and solidarity, and solidarity of all workers, of all workers worldwide. Worldwide, New York City, New York City, over the United States, over the United States, everywhere, everywhere. I support, I support the struggle, the struggle for a fifteen dollar, for a fifteen dollar minimum wage hike, minimum wage hike. I am here, I am here in remembrance, in remembrance of Dr. King, of Dr. King, Dr. King. and his struggle, and his struggle. As a member, as a member, I am here. I am here to act up. To act up. Act up. Act up. Act up. Act up. Act up. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
All right. Do we want to open the Ali from our duty farm? Stop mass incarceration. Stop the frisk. Stop stop the frisk. Woo!
McDonald's at 16th and Broadway. Actually, it's warmed up quite a bit. Remember, the dollar menu comes at a price.
Take off my gloves. It's actually warmed up to a very comfortable temperature right here at McDonald's in Union Square in New York City. 12th and Broadway. If you're in the area, come down and join us. Here up with the flight for 15.
I'm doing my last stop now.
Sorry. Staples, our next stop. Mitt Romney's company. We all remember Mitt Romney, or do we forget him already? The post office and take jobs away and take jobs, jobs away from postal workers. From postal workers. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Be aware. Be aware of the struggle of the struggle of the postal workers. Of the postal workers. Root mechanical orchestra. Root mechanical orchestra. Take it away. Take it away. Yeah. Corporate greed. Corporate greed. Republicans 
in Congress of President Bush. Republicans in Congress of President Bush saddled the post office with a five billion dollar a year debt. With a five billion dollar a year debt. The reason that they wanted them to do it. The reason that they wanted them to do it was to be able to pay for benefits was to be able to pay for benefits for workers who hadn't been born yet for workers who hadn't been born yet as is usually the case with conservatives as is usually the case with conservatives such as the war in Iraq such as the war in Iraq this is, looks like it's going to backfire in their face this looks like it's going to backfire in their face one or two more years of this, one or two more years of this, and the fifty billion dollars, and the fifty billion dollars will have been paid. Will have been paid. The irony is, the irony is, the post office, the post office, may become the big money maker, may become the big money maker for the federal government. For the federal government. Since the post office has figured out a system, since the post office has figured out a system, whereas to start every year with a five billion dollar debt. Start every year with a five billion dollar debt and pay it off. And pay it off. I think. I think this would be a good idea for corporate America. This would be a good idea for corporate America. I think the Fortune 500 companies. I think the Fortune 500 companies should start to save up money. Should start to save up money every year. Every year to begin the year. To begin the year for workers not born yet. For workers not born yet. If the systems work so well for the government. If the systems work so well for the government. I think it'll work just fine for shareholder-owned corporations. I think it'll work just fine. For shareholder owned corporations. So I'd encourage everyone to write their congressman. So I'd encourage everyone to write their congressman. And begin the process. And begin the process of having corporations fund. Of having corporations fund benefit packages for workers. Benefit packages for workers that haven't been born yet. That haven't been born yet. Thanks. Mike check! Mike check! Mike check! Mike check! My name is My name is Joseph Joseph I am I am a former postal worker a former postal worker a former supervisor a former supervisor I have retired I have retired on disability on disability in 1999 in 1999 I am here today I am here today to support Support the struggle, the struggle of all postal workers, of all postal workers, and that, and that the pensions, the pensions that's being robbed, that's being robbed by corporate America, by corporate America, and for staples, and for staples, being a party to, being a party to, to the outsourcing, to the outsourcing of that is in against. All postal workers. All postal workers. So we stand. So we stand in solidarity. In solidarity with all postal workers. With all postal workers. We thank. We thank Brother John. Brother John from Staten Island. From Staten Island. Who is in Washington today? Who is in Washington today? He's, he's here in spirit. He's here in spirit. And support. And support. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
minimum wage song. Minimum wage song. Line by line. Line by line. It goes to put your arms around me, honey. <laughs> Listen, all you bosses you may think we're dumb. Listen, Listen all you bosses you may think we're dumb. We want fifteen dollars per hour minimum. We want fifteen dollars per hour minimum. Right. Now we can't make ends meet. Right. Now we can't make ends meet. Oh, our families have to eat. Oh, our families have to eat. If I had the cash, there's lots that I could buy. If I had the cash, there's lots that I could buy. And it's a good economic stimuli. And it's a good economic stimuli. Uh, kind of, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Tuckered out, huh?
So anytime you want to take over for a little bit, uh, let me know because my battery's getting low. And uh, and you can just uh, live stream. I'll give you the. Uh, I should have just turned this off so that the battery. Yeah, well, it's okay. It's so full. Yeah, okay. You need to borrow the battery? No, no, no. I want you to uh, live stream with your phone, and I'll hook you up, and you can have the uh, and you can have the bottle pod, right? And then because uh, I got a pee too. That's the other thing. Sorry for the people out there watching, but. Yes, we do have to use the bathroom. <laughs> I'm a human. I'm not a machine. I bet you even machines have to use the bathroom. Yeah, they got a bathroom in there. All right. So what we're going to do here, folks, is that we're going to have Master Zen switch over to his phone. But he'll be broadcasting on the St. Freeman Sullivan channel. So uh, that's what we're going to do. So give us a second. Stay with us. Let me look at his phone here and get him going. And we'll be right back. Okay, folks? <laughs> 